Hey guys, Tyler here. Whenever I'm hungry and need to stuff my belly, I typically go to a place called Chick-fil-A. And if you guys have no idea what is Chick-fil-A, they're basically a chain of restaurants that sell chicken patties and waffle fries. And oh my god, that image right there looks so fucking tasty! If you guys are outside of America and want to do the most American thing possible, then why not go to a Chick-fil-A and support them today? I highly recommend Chick-fil-A! And that is the end of the video. So please turn off the video right now, because this is the last part you'll see in this video. Bye 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 bye! It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Uh, what the hell are you guys still watching this video? Wait a second, isn't this video called the Chick-fil-A controversy? And I have not talked about the controversy yet. Well, guys, if you really want to hear about this controversy, just sit back and relax and just grab your popcorn and just hear me out on this one. More recently on social media, the Huffington Post made a really bad hit piece. The article says, if you really love LGBTQ people, you just can't keep eating at Chick-fil-A. To give you guys more context about the article, here are some history behind the Chick-fil-A controversy. Back in 2011, before the legalization of gay marriage across America in 2015, one of the higher ups at Chick-fil-A stated that he does not support gay marriage and because of his statements, many people protest at various Chick-fil-A's to show their disapproval of his comments. Fast forward to 2018 and the founder of Twitter promoted Chick-fil-A on his page and obviously a lot of people were just uh, very upset and he later apologized for promoting a group that was very homophobic. I just absolutely love the extremes that people have nowadays. The ultimatum that Huffington Post is presenting to us is basically this. You either support gay people by not going to Chick-fil-A or you're a bigot by going to Chick-fil-A. And I'm like, you're just stupid for just saying such things. I mean, does this face look like a fucking face of a bigot by going to Chick-fil-A? Honestly, I don't care if the guy at Chick-fil-A says some anti-gay marriage comments because ultimately in the end, I'm at Chick-fil-A because the food is delicious and I like the place a lot. Personally, I voted for gay marriage back in 2012 in Maryland. However, somebody's different opinion than mine's does not dictate whether or not the quality of the food is good at a place and if the food is good, I support the place. Based upon my personal experiences, I have not seen Chick-fil-A discriminate somebody because of their sexual orientation or not hire somebody because they're gay. Also, after the Orlando shooting that happened in the gay bar, Chick-fil-A decided to open their doors to help the people in need. So when it comes down to it, Chick-fil-A actually helped out gay people after that shooting. They probably hired some gay people at their job. And also, they basically serve anybody, whether they're straight or gay. This whole entire Chick-fil-A ultimatum is basically some sort of form of the false equivalence. Before I sign out, I have one last thing to say. There is this one conservative girl on Twitter who went to Chick-fil-A for the sole purpose of quote, triggering the libtards. To which I say, do you honestly think that the average liberal or any person in America really get triggered if you go to Chick-fil-A outside of Huffington Post? That Twitter post, to me at least, comes off as very tryhard, like no one really gets upset if you go to Chick-fil-A and buy chicken patties. Anyway, no one is anti-gay for going to Chick-fil-A. Please guys, don't trigger people just to trigger people. And finally, just relax, have an awesome day, and I'll see you guys uh, next time. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend.
Because black friends are rare as you should be aware He smiles like Richard Pryor so just sit and stare It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler